بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير السؤال السابع question number seven اقرأ المثالين read two examples ثم أدخل then enter كأن كأن على الجمل الجمل الآتية to the following sentences علما knowing بأن ذات كأن من أخواتي إن ذات كأن is from the sisters of إن so now we have إن and then we will learn about the sister of إن which is كأن and also بأن is one of the sisters of إن so in this sentence we have basically إن and then two more sisters of إن but we will focus only on Ka'anna. Ka'anna is called harfu tashbih, the, uh, the particle of resemblance uh, or similarity. And uh, uh, we will learn the conjugation of ka'anna. And it means as if, or it looks like as if. Look at the examples. Man hadha al-fata, who is this boy? Ka'anna hu akhuka, as if he is your brother. And we know that Ka'anna will have Ismu Ka'anna. So who will be Ismu Ka'anna? And Akhuka will be Khabaru Ka'anna. Man hadhi tiflatu? Who is this, uh, this girl? Ka'anna ha ukhtuk? As if she is your sister. Or she looks like your sister. And again, ha will be Ismu Ka'anna. And ukht basically will be Khabaru Ka'anna. Okay, let's do the exercise. Um, who was the me look? Now you want to say he looks like your colleague or it looks as if he is your colleague. So we will say Ka'annahu the look. As we know that huwa cannot be used with inna or any of the sisters of inna. So after inna or the sisters of inna, in this case we have Ka'anna. So after Ka'anna, we will use the attached pronoun. Always we have to use the attached pronoun. As we can see over here, Ka'annahu is the attached pronoun similarly ha is the attached pronoun and now who are what is the attached pro pronoun for who it will be who so it will be kaannahu zamiluka kaannahu zamiluka as if he is your colleague he a tabibatun she is a doctor now what you want to say it looks as if she is a doctor so we, we will say kaannaha tabibatun so we will use the attached pronoun which is ha excellent hum Tullabun, they are students. Now we want to say it looks like they are students. So we will say Ka'annahum Tullabun. Uh, it looks like they are students. Okay. Uh, then we have Anta Maridun, you are sick. Now we want to say it looks as if you are sick. So we will say Ka'annaka Maridun. Ka'annaka Maridun. Huwa Madarisun Jadidun, he is a new teacher. Now you want to say as if he is a new teacher, so it will be Ka'annahu Madarrisun Jadidun. Anti Uhtu Mariyama. You are the sister of Mariam. Now you want to say it looks like you are the sister of Mariam, so we will say Ka'anna ki Uhtu Mariyama. Ka'anna ki. Yeah, so we have to use ki uh, because for the feminine we use ki and for the masculine we will use ka. Excellent. So Ka'anna ki Uhtu Mariyama. Ukhtu is mudaf and Maryam is mudaf ilayh. That's why it does not have uh, kasra because it is mamnu min asarf. So ka'anna ki ukhtu Maryam. As-tawal uh, question number eight. Iqra ma yali, read the following. Now we have the numbers from 11 to 20. So uh, the numbers from 11 to 20, they have basically three sets how many sets are there three sets what are the three sets uh, 11 and 12 they will be one group and what is the group do you remember 11 and 12 uh, the first two parts the first murakkab uh, will be equal in number and gender other than madud will be equal other than madud will be equal so uh, similarly one and two we have learned that one and two they are equal and similarly uh, kitabun wahidun and kitabani thanani similarly uh, 
11 and 12, they will be equal, other than Madud will be equal. So we will say 12 Taliban, um, 12 students. And we are learning about the masculine numbers. And inshallah, in the next lesson, we will learn about the feminine numbers from uh, 11 to 20. That's number one, that they are equal. Number two, uh, Madud will be singular and it will be mansub. Madud will be singular and it will be mansub. Then the numbers from 13 to 19, Okay, what about 12? We know that ithna is munsarif. So it can be ithna, it can be ithnai, ithnai. And similarly, ithnata, ithnatai, ithnatai. So it's it's munsarif. Whereas the numbers from uh, 11 to 19, except 12, um, they are mabniyun al al fatha. They are mabniyun al al fatha. So the first two parts will be always fixed on uh, fatha. The numbers from 13 to 19, the first part of the construction will be opposite to ma'dud. It will be opposite to ma'dud. For example, ma'dud is taliban, which is masculine. Uh, so the first part of the construction will be feminine. So it will be 13 taliban, 13 students. 14 taliban, 14 masculine students. 15 taliban, 15 masculine students. 16 taliban, 16 masculine or male students. 17 taliban, 17 male students. 18 male students, 19 male students. So this is our second group. In this, uh, from 11 to 20, this is our second group. Um, so the first one is 11 to 12, the second is 13 to 19. And then we have the decades or uqud, and uh, from ishruna up to tis'una, from, uh, from 20 to 90, and they will come on the pattern of una, which is used for the sound masculine plural. So it will be Ishruna. And uh, please remember that the Madud from 11 to 99 will be singular and it will be Mansub. As to all is Question number nine. Iqra ma yali. Read that follows. Thum maktubhu. Then write it. Ma kitabatil arqami. By writing the numbers. Al-Waridati, the following, Fihi bil huruf with the figures or with the letters. So now we have to read the following sentences and write them substituting words from the for, for figures. Fil Fasli, uh, 19 Taliban. So we will say, this um, Ashara Taliban, right? And there are 19 students in the classroom. Indi uh, uh, 15 Kitaban bil al Arabiyati. 12 kitaban bilogatil ara franciati. You want to say that I have 15 um, Arabic books and uh, 12 French books. So we will say Khamsat um, Ashara kitaban. And similarly, we will say Ithna Ashara kitaban. So please remember that the Hamza of Ithna is Hamzatul Vassal. So when we connect it, we don't pronounce it. Then we have Ra'a Yusufu alayhi salamu fil manami. Uh, 11 Kaukaban, Yusuf alayhi salam saw 11 stars in his dream. So it will be Ahada Ashara Kaukaban, Ra'a Yusuf alayhi salam fil manami, Ahada Ashara Kaukaban, Yusuf alayhi salam saw 11 stars in his dream. Indi 20 Rialan. So how will we say? We will say Indi Ishruna Rialan. Ishruna Rialan. Okay. Why Ishruna? Why not Ishrina? Why shall we say Ishruna? Why can I not say Ishrina Rialan? Marfu Ahsent. Why is it Marfu? Because it's Mubtada. Mashallah Barakala. So uh, we know that uh, Indi is a verb plus Mudafile. A verb plus Mudafile cannot be subject. It is Khabar. So this is predicate. And we know that. Uh, Ishroon uh, or Yalan will be the subject, and we know subject is always Marfu Ahsantum. Then we have Kam Fundukan Fi Hada Shari. How many hotels are there in this uh, street? Fihi 13 Fundukan. So we will say Fihi Thalatha Tashara Fundukan. Thalatha Tashara Fundukan. Fi Hada Il Madinati 14 Masjidan. There are 14 mosques in this city. Now you want to say uh, in Arabic, so we will say fi هذه المدينة أربعة عشرة مسجدا 14 masjids or mosques. ثمن هذا الكتاب 17 ريالا. So we will say ثمن هذا الكتاب 17 ريالا. 
Okay, so why do we have to say sab'ata ashara? Why not sab'atu ashara asharu or sab'ati ashari? Why can we not change the ending of sab'at ashara? Yeah, real is masculine, exactly. Because they are fixed on fatha. The numbers from 11 to 19, except for 12, they are fixed on fatha. So their ending will always come with fatha. Uh, they will not take dhamma or kasra. They will only take fatha. Fi hadha al-kitabi, 20 darsan. So we will say, fi hadha al-kitabi, 20 darsan. There are 20 lessons in this book. Okay, excellent. Fis sanati uh, twelve sharan. So you want to say there are twelve months in the in the year. So we will say fis sanati ithna ashara sharan. Ithna ashara sharan. There are twelve months in the year. Okay. Aswalul ashiru. Question number ten. Iqra ma yali. Read that follows or simply learn the ordinal numbers. So ordinal numbers we know that except for number one. Uh, the numbers from 2 to 10, they come on the pattern of fa'ilun. They come on the pattern of fa'ilun. So all of them will have the same pattern, that is fa'ilun. Awalu, uh, please know that awalu is on the pattern of af'alu. Uh, that's why it does not accept tanween because it is mamnu min sarf. However, uh, please remember that awalu is being used as adjective. So whenever we use it as an adjective, you know the numbers are used as adjective. So whenever we use it as adjective, uh, then it will be mamnu min sarf. It will be mamnu min sarf. However, it can be used as a dharf. It can be used as an adverb. Very important part of a piece of information. So when it is used as a dharf or as a, uh, as we know, adverb, then we can also use it as awalan. Awalan first. Yani awalan. Uh, usalli thumma anamu. So you say awalan usalli thumma anamu. I pray first, then I sleep. So when you use it as first or firstly, then it can be used as awalan. But it is only when we use it as an adverb. Okay. But we cannot use it as awalun and awalin. That will be a mistake because we know that dharf are always mansub. So that's why it can be used as uh, as awalan as well. Also, awal is used generally. It is also used as mudaf, uh, mudaf ilay. Ana awalul muslimin. So it can also be used as uh, as mudaf, mudaf ilay. But generally, uh, it is used as uh, masuf and sifa. The ordinal numbers generally, the ordinal numbers, they are used as masuf and sifa. As you can see, that they will generally be used with al. We started our course with Ad-Darsu Al-Awalu, right? Ad-Darsu Al-Thani and then Al-Thalith and Rabi. And you might have noticed that the numbers that whenever I'm trying to do the exercises or whenever we say the numbers of the questions, try to say them in Arabic so we know and that this is uh, As-Su'alu Al-Ashiru. This is question number 10. So Ad-Darsu Al-Awalu, uh, that is the exception. That's the number one. And from 2 up to 10, they will be on the pattern of fa'ilu. And if you use al with them, then it becomes al fa'ilu. So it will be ad darsu al-thani. We know that al-thani is ism al manqus, it's a special noun. And that's why we cannot see dhamma over here. However, when it is used as mansub, then fatha will be there. We can we have to put fatha, but whenever it is used as marfur, then there is no need to put dhamma on it. Ad-Darsu uh, Al-Thani, lesson number uh, two. Ad-Darsu Al-Thalithu, uh, lesson number three. Ad-Darsu Al-Rabi'u, lesson number four. Ad-Darsu Al-Khamisu, lesson number five. Now you can see Al-Thani, uh, Thani, Thalithu, Rabi'u, Khamisu. They are on the pattern of Fa'ilu, Fa'ilu, and Fa'ilu. Similarly, Ad-Darsu Al-Sadisu, uh, lesson number six. It's also on the pattern of Fa'ilu. Then we have Ad-Darsu Al-Sabi'u, lesson number seven on the pattern of Al-Fa'ilu. Ad-Darsu Al-Thaminu, lesson number eight. And similarly, Ad-Darsu Al-Tasi'u, um, lesson number nine. And Ad-Darsu Al-Ashiru will be lesson number 11, uh, 10. So now we can see that the numbers from one to 10, when we talk about Al-A'dadu Tartibiyya, or we can call talk uh, when we say ordinal numbers, 
then we have to use them on the pattern of al-fa'ilu, except for number one that comes on the pattern of awalu or af'alu. Okay, so I believe you've got a very good idea of what we have discussed now. And now, inshallah, we will do the exercise in at. Na'ata yan'atu, and fail al amr will be in at. In atil asma'a al atiyata. Yani make the following nouns as adjectives. We know that the second noun for adjective, name for adjective is na'at, right? So na'at comes from the same pattern, noon, ain, ta. So we use the word na'at and mana'ut, and similarly we use the word masuf and sifa. So make adjective from the following nouns, bil adadit tartibi, with the ordinal numbers, al mushtaq, the ones that are derived. So there are derived nouns and there are jamid, and there are solid nouns and there are derived nouns. Um, solid noun mean, means like they are not derived from anything else. For example, when you say rajulun, man, it's not derived from anything else. Similarly, shamsun, qamarun, they are not derived from any of the verbs or from the nouns. But when you say the words like uh, we say like Hamidun. So basically, Hamidun is taken from Hamad, Hamida, Hamada Yahmedu. Yeah. So Hamid, similarly, Sajidun is from Sajada Yasjudun, Nasirun from Nasara Yansuru. So that's why we call them Mushtaq. And inshallah, we will discuss about them in detail when we proceed into the course. Minal Adadi from the numbers Al Mabkuri that are mentioned. Amama Kulli Wahid and Minha in front of each of them. So now fill in the blanks with the ordinal forms of the numbers given in the brackets. Note that the feminine of Awalu is Ula. Awalu is Ula, and that's the uh, note over here. Al Awalu Mu'annathu Al Ula. Naqulu at Talibu Al Awalu, wa Talibatu Al Ula. So we say the first student and the first student for the first, we will say the first. Um, masculine student and the first feminine student. Al Yomu, yes, this is number eight. So what will we say? Al Yomu Athamenu, excellent. Al Talibu, the third student. Al Talibu, Al Thalithu, excellent. Al Darsu, Al Ashiru, lesson number ten. Okay. Al Safhatu, here we need to be careful. Al Safhatu. Atasiatu. Hmm? Why? Because asafhatu is, is um, feminine. So Mosuf and Sifa are equal. So that's why it has to be feminine as well. Al Juzu Al Awalu. Excellent. The first part. Then we have Fisanati. Fourth. So we will say Fisanati Arabiati. Arabiati. Because Sana is feminine. That's why Arabia has to be feminine. At-talibatu, number six. So we will say at-talibatu, as-sadisatu. Student number six or the sixth student. Al-baytu, number seven. Al-baytu, as-sabi'u. Excellent. Uh, house number seven or the seventh house. Al-ghurfatu, number five. Al-ghurfatu, al-khamisatu. Excellent. And then we have al-juz'u, two. So we will say al-juz'u. Athani Ahsant. And that's what we are doing now. Um, part two of the course, Alhamdulillah. So we have already started and we are doing the third lesson. So this is Al Juz Athani. Yuajjihul Mudarisu ila Tullabi Asilatan. The teacher directs the questions to the students. So Wajjaha Yuajjihu Tawjihan is to direct or to ask. So in this context, we will we will say ask, but when you direct someone to do something. As ilatan mukawanatan, the sentences that are that are made min alaysa kadalik from alaysa kadalik. Fayujibu ajaba yujibu is to answer. Alayhat tullabu, the students. Ajaba yujibu comes with the preposition of ala. Ala. So it alayha at tullabu. Bi bala using bala. Nahvu, for example. A anta min al hindi alaysa kadalik. So what will be your answer? Bala a anta maridun, alaysa kadalik. Bala a anta talibun, alaysa kadalik. So, what will you say? Bala a anta muslimun, alaysa kadalik. Bala. So, whenever we have a negative question, uh, then the answer has to be with Bala. That means indeed, sure, why not? So, that's the practice now. 
I've given you some sentences. Now it's up to you to practice because this is kind of oral exercise. So inshallah, the more you practice, the more you will improve your speaking skills. Ayyuhuma, which one of the two? Yushiru, ashara, yushiru, isharatan is to point. Hmm? Now you will see yushiru. So we have learned about ismul ishara. We have learned musharun, musharun ilayhi. So now you can get the idea that these words come from um, yushiru, ashara, yushiru. So yushiru al-mudarisu ila talibayni. The teacher points towards two students. Wayaqulu, and he says, hadhani talibani. These are two students. Hadhani is the dual of hadha. Hadha, hadhani. Hadhani talibani. These are two students. Ayyuhuma atwalu. Which one of them is tall? وَإِلَىٰ كِتَابَيْنِ And towards two books, وَيَقُولُ And he says, هَذَانِ كِتَابَانِ These are two books. أَيُّهُمَا أَجْمَلُ Which one of them is, is beautiful or, yeah, وَهَكَذَا And like this. So now, again, uh, this is practice. You can practice with your colleagues, with your friends. Um, so whoever is available, so you can sit with them and you can practice uh, because this is also an oral exercise and it's all about practice, inshallah. Now let's look at some of the examples of Af'al uh, al-Tafdil from the Qur'an. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan rajim Wa kana lahu thamarun faqala li sahibihi wa huwa yuhawiruhu an aktharu. So here, an aktharu minka. So, an aktharu minka. So now we can see over here that it is being used as comparative, right? I am greater than you in wealth. Ana aktharu minka malan. So here, malan is being used as tamjiz, right? Um, so he's saying that I am I am greater than you in wealth, wa azzu nafaran, and mightier in numbers. Now, azzu is also on the pattern of afalu. We we know that za comes twice, and when a letter comes twice, then we put tashdid on that. However, you might be thinking like, why after azzu we have nafaran? Because we have learned two possibilities, right? We have learned that the noun after that, either we can have min after that, right? After afadu, we can have min, or we can have a noun that is majroor, right? A noun that is majroor. So why here we have nafaran? So that's the third possibility. Ahsan uh, Abd Salam, the third possibility is that, that the noun can be used directly as tamyiz. Inshallah, we will discuss in detail about this in book number three. But as of now, you should get some idea that after af'alu, uh, this pattern, we have min or we have the noun that is majroor. However, there is a possibility that the noun can be mansub. And whenever it is mansub, that means it is being used as tamiz. Inna fi dhalika la ayah wa ma kana aktharuhum mu'mineen. Now we can see here aktharuhum. Is it comparative or superlative? Akhtarhum. Yes, please tell me quickly. Is it comparative or superlative? Superlative, excellent. Yeah, very good. Because we don't have min after that. So when we say khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allama, so it will be the best among you are the ones who learn and teach Qur'an. Khayrukum, because this is uh, without khayru, it's not khayru minkum. So that's why khayrukum man ta'allam al-Qur'an wa'allama. Similarly, we have as-salatu khayrun minan naum. But when we have as-salatu khayrun minan naum, now we are comparing salah with, with sleep. So that's why we have min after that, that the prayer is better, comparative, the prayer is better than the sleep. Okay. لَخَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَكْبَرُ min. Yes, so now here we have akbaru min. Comparative. خَلْقِ النَّاسِ وَلَكِنَّ أَكْثَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ what about here, Akhtar and Nasi? Here it is superlative, right? So here it is comparative and here it is superlative. And you look at the at the translation, a greater than, and here we have most, most of the people. Excellent. Or Amanul Yahud. Yes, most intense, Ashad the Nasi. So this is also superlative because after ashadda we have the noun that is majroor alhamdulillah so afal tafdeel the comparative and the superlative is very clear now 
that either we have men after that, when we have men, it is comparative. When the noun after this is majroor, it is superlative. And if the noun is mansub, that means it is being used as tamjiz. Okay, the numbers uh, 11 to 12 examples from the Quran. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan rajim Inni ra'aytu ahad ashara kawkaban. Now, kawkab, as we know, is masculine. That's why we have ahad ashara. As we know, the numbers 11 and 12, they are equal. Other than madud are equal. So I have seen, uh, I, indeed, I have seen in a dream 11 stars. Exactly, ismu tafdil or afalu tafdil are the same because it's a noun. So either we can say that use the word afalu. Why the reason why they call it afalu tafdil because it comes on the pattern of afalu, and and we can also say ismu tafdil because it's a noun. So both of them are okay. Uh, so we have here ahadashara kaukaban. So the numbers uh, eleven. Then we have inna idda shuhuri in the Allah thna ashara shaharan. Now we can see that Ithna Ashara Shaharan, number 12 months. So again, uh, 12, it is the same number, equal in number and gender. Shahar is masculine and that's why Ithna is masculine. However, the Hamza is the Hamza al Wasl. So in the Allah, Ithna Ashara Shaharan. Now here we can't say in the Allah, Ithna Ashara Shaharan when we are reciting the Quran, then we need to be careful. Fan Fajarat min Huthnata Asharata Aina. Now we can see over here, that we have Ainan is feminine, it means the spring, and I is also feminine. I, for the I, we use Ainan, and also for the spring, we use Ainan because water comes from both of them. So that's why here, because Ainan is feminine, that's why it is Ithnata Ashrata Ainan. And similarly in the Quran, Ithnai Ashara and Ithnatai Ashara also have been used. But the reason why I did not bring those examples over here, because we haven't learned about how to make a noun mansub. That's why we will focus only on the nouns that can be used as marfur. Al-Mufradat, the vocab, mahja'un, and the plural is mahaji'u on the pattern of mafailu, and it is mamnu min as sarf Hostel. Then we have kawkabun, star, and the plural is jama' kawakibu, and this is also mamnu min as sarf because it is on the pattern of mafailu. Then we have fariqun, team and the plural is furaqa'u on the pattern of fu'ala'u and fu'ala'u is also mamnu min as sarf shaqiqun for brother and the plural is ashiqa'u on the pattern of af'ila'u atibba'u akhilla'u ashiqa'u so any word that comes on the pattern of af'ila'u is mamnu min as sarf how it is on the pattern of af'ila'u because we can see that qaf has tashdeed, that means it was basically ashqiqa'u, ashqiqa'u, and then after the idgham, it has become ashqiqa'u. Filmanami in dream, nafidatun, window, and the plural is nawafidhu, also it's on the pattern of mafailu, that's why it's mamnu min asarf. Sinnun means age or tooth, and the plural is asnanun, on the pattern of af'alun. Then we have shaharun, it has two plurals, uh, shaharun month, Ashhurun on the pattern of Af'ulun and also Shuhurun on the pattern of Fu'ulun. Then we have La'ibun. This is a derived noun. La'iba yal'abu fahuwa La'ibun, the player. And the plural is La'ibuna. And then we have, so when whenever we have the mushtaq noun or the derived noun, then the plural will come on the pattern of Una. Kasla, lazy for the feminine. And for the masculine, we use Kaslanu. Both of them are mamnu min sarf both of them. Why? Because kasla ends with alif maqsura and kaslanu ends with alif anun zaidatan. Wasi'un, spacious or large. And then we have shahirun, that means famous. Thamanun, price, and the plural is athmanun on the pattern of af'alun. Tammad darsu bi'awnillahi ta'ala. So alhamdulillah, we have completed our lesson number three with the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah make it easy for us, learning and teaching. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.